This past winter, I spent 40 days on a trip to visit family and decided to pack all my clothes for the entire duration in one small carry-on suitcase. So I put together a capsule wardrobe to bring with me. A couple weeks ago, I made a video on how I put that capsule wardrobe together and you all told me you wanted a part two on how it went, which I am happy and excited to share. So today I present you every outfit I wore over this 40 day trip and some things I noticed along the way. I showed you the complete capsule wardrobe in part one, but just for a refresher, here it is again. I also want to mention real quick, I refilmed all of these outfits in my apartment because the footage I took on the trip was bad. So if it looks like I'm still at home in these clips, it's because I am. But I promise you, it is exactly what I wore. I just wanted to bring it to you in higher quality. My one other note is that I did also use a puffy winter coat that I keep in Wisconsin for the weather there. So I didn't have it with me to film these clips, but some of these days I did also use this coat if I had to pop outside on an especially freezing cold day. Okay, with all that said, let's get into it. First, of course, is my airport outfit to get to Wisconsin in the first place. This mostly just consisted of too many layers of the bulkiest items I was bringing because they wouldn't fit in my suitcase, and I was a little too sweaty at times, but ultimately it worked out. The clothes were comfy and I thought they still looked cute. On the first full day home, I wasted no time before spending an evening out and about. And this is the one outfit I actually re-recorded wrong. I forgot to put on my fur trim coat over it, but that's what I actually wore. Luckily, I took some outfit pics, so you can see the complete look right here. On day three, I did not get out of my pajamas. And I'm gonna tell you right now, that did happen three more times on this trip. Some days, I just stay in my pajamas all day. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not seeing anyone. Why would I get dressed? As the days progressed, I continued putting together cute but simple and comfortable outfits. I was mostly hanging out with family and doing very casual activities, if anything, so I had no motive to really go in with the styling. On day seven, I did have a holiday gift exchange to attend. So for that outfit, I had fun leaning into a 70s party vibe with a gold tank top, purple paisley shirt, purple loop earrings, and the fur trim jacket. This was like exactly what I had in mind when I brought a lot of these more festive pieces. So I was glad to put them to use. One thing I started noticing really quickly that only continued to be true is that having this capsule wardrobe allowed me to get so much more use out of certain pieces than I ever ever would have if I had had my whole wardrobe accessible. For example, this purple paisley top, it's so fun, I love it, but I just don't reach for it a ton in my wardrobe at home. I think I just forget that I have it. But having it as one of only a few options, especially one of the most colorful options, made this a go-to item for me for any situation where I wanted to look a little more funky or festive or just add some color into my outfit. I feel like people often talk about how basic classic neutrals are so much more versatile, you'll get sick of them less easily, etc, etc. But I think that point of view really fails to take into account personal style and what the rest of your wardrobe looks like. I would say I'm definitely more of a fashion maximalist than a minimalist. I love colors, patterns, textures, and layers. So pieces I can use to express that part of my style are the most versatile pieces for me that I get the most use out of. It also depends on the other pieces you have. Like I brought all neutral bottoms because that's just most of what I own. But because I'm not super into full neutral outfits, that meant I was frequently choosing my most colorful options on top. As we can see here, this red pattern jacket also got a ton of use as the other main colorful patterned top, especially as we come upon Christmas, the red was a great subtly festive option. For actual Christmas, I did bring a whole other dress, specifically with Christmas in mind, because even capsule wardrobes can have some indulgences. This was the perfect Christmas piece, and I simply had to wear it. I did also have some other styling ideas for this when I chose to bring it. I was like, okay, I could make this work for a couple other situations too, but when I wore it to family Christmas, one of the strings of beading broke. I tried to like collect up all the fallen beads I could and hopefully I can figure out a way to repair this at some point, but unfortunately during this trip this dress was out of commission after one wear. That said, I am still glad I brought it. I got to wear it and look how cute and festive this outfit is. Worth it, in my opinion. After Christmas, I continued on with my everyday outfits. And another thing I started to notice was having these limited options, even if they felt a little more simple or basic to me, still had me wearing new wardrobe combinations that I had never worn before in my life just because they were the only options. So even if it was a simple outfit, the limitation of the capsule wardrobe actually created a sense of novelty in forcing me to try new combinations and outfits. It also made me less worried about creating the best combination. Like normally at home, I would put on an outfit and like try on all my different jackets to see which one was the best jacket to go with the outfit. But here, I just kind of had to wear the jackets I had and that ended up creating new outfits I wouldn't normally choose together, but they still looked good. I think this lessened preoccupation with whether I had made the 
best possible outfit. Also made me think of my outfits less as good or bad, successful or unsuccessful, and more just let them be what they were. I think that was one of the best takeaways from this whole capsule wardrobe experience. Shifting my mindset to see that fashion doesn't have to be hierarchical, it can just be. Okay, now we are at New Year's Eve, which brings me to my second holiday dress indulgence. I really wanted to wear this gold baby doll dress for New Year's. I made it myself. It's just perfect for the occasion. And I love how it looks layered with this black midi skirt. I will say this dress is another piece that I brought with the holidays in mind, but had intentions of styling in other ways if the opportunity arose, but ultimately only wore once. And I'm okay with that. I still wore it and I'm glad I brought it so that I could wear it. In the new year, I carried on with more everyday outfits. As you can see, some are more basic, some are more fun and unique. I loved this plaid dress outfit, it was one of my favorites, but also I was shocked when I realized at the end that I had only worn this plaid dress once over this entire trip. I could have sworn I wore it a handful of times. Looking back, I realized my perception of how much I wore certain things versus how much I actually wore them definitely was not quite perfectly aligned. We'll talk about that more later, but I found that super interesting. This outfit was another one of my favorites, and at this point I did bring in one new item. It is just this headband, which I don't think counts as breaking my capsule wardrobe because it's not really a wardrobe piece, it's a hair accessory, but I did bring in a new piece to style, so I have to admit that to all of you. I got this headband while I was on this trip. I love it in this outfit, I've loved styling it since. So even if you do have a small wardrobe, accessories are a great way to bring more style and personality to a look. As I continued on through this trip and started repeating the same pieces more and more, another thing I noticed was that I actually really enjoyed repeating certain pieces, colors, and certain types of looks because it felt like I had sort of a defined curated vibe that felt very personal to me. I mean, of course, I love having access to my whole wardrobe, especially for making videos. That was the time during this trip that I missed having my wardrobe the most. But repeating pieces kind of actually felt more like I had an established signature look, which felt very affirming to my unique sense of style. It was kind of like being a cartoon character who always wears the same thing. Like, that's part of how we identify characters, right? So in real life, it also gives you a stronger sense of visual identity, which can even make you feel a stronger sense of self and identity beyond your style. One day where I had a lot of fun expressing that distinct style of this capsule wardrobe was on this day out taking pictures with my sister. We love having like little days out with outfit changes to take a bunch of pictures together. So that's how we spent this day and I don't have one outfit recorded for this day, but I wore both of these two outfits. For these, you can see that I do have another new hair accessory, which is these little mini butterfly clips. My sister got those for me for Christmas. And again, they're hair accessories. So I was like, they don't count and I didn't get them for myself. And then I did also borrow the scarf in this outfit from my mom while I was home. Of course, for warmth, because I wasn't able to pack any scarves, but also, it was cute with this outfit. I can't decide if I think that was cheating with the capsule wardrobe or not. I feel like on the one hand, it is adding in new stuff to wear, but I also think part of succeeding and having fun with a small wardrobe can be sharing and borrowing with friends and family. But then again, maybe wanting to have new things is still feeding into that like consumerism of always needing more. I don't know. Please let me know your thoughts on this in the comments. Should capsule wardrobes be more focused on not wanting anything new, not needing anything new, not bringing in anything new, or finding ways to style new elements through things like borrowing or renting or other less consumption-based means. As time went on and we came towards the end of this 40-day experience, I did notice that I expected to miss my wardrobe more as time went on, but I actually missed my full wardrobe less as I adjusted to my new little capsule wardrobe. I think when you're used to having so many options, it feels frustrating not to have them. But once you become used to the fewer options and stop comparing it to what they could be instead, you realize there's actually nothing wrong with the options you have. I ended up really enjoying this wardrobe and at the end of the trip, I honestly felt like I could just keep going with these pieces. I mean, I was definitely excited to get some things back, but I found myself still really being drawn to those same like base pieces from that wardrobe. I also do want to acknowledge that part of what made this fun and enjoyable is that I knew it was temporary. I planned out my whole little curated vibe beforehand for this shorter specific amount of time and I knew I wanted to make a video about it. So the whole thing was like a fun little contained challenge and not the way I actually have to live my life. Plus a handful of the pieces I brought were actually recent thrift finds. I just want to bring this up to acknowledge that like being able to experiment with a temporary capsule wardrobe which included a number of new pieces is not the same as just not being able to build the 
full wardrobe you need because of cost, sizing, or whatever other factors there may be. If you are dissatisfied with your wardrobe, even if it's bigger than this capsule wardrobe, I don't want you to feel bad and like, you should just love what you have because not everyone's needs are being met by the clothes that they have. And what worked for me in this very specific short-term context is not going to work for everyone in the long term. Okay, we got off topic from the actual outfits for a little while there, but finally, as the trip came to a close, I did get to rock one more festive outfit to a final dinner out before we had to fly back to Maryland. And then for my last two outfits, I did actually do some thrifting while I was here. I didn't wear any of those things on this trip because I wanted to stick to my capsule wardrobe, but at the end I had everything packed up and I left out this overcoat because it was the bulkiest coat, so I figured that should be the one I wear so my luggage fits better. So I had to wear this because all my other coats were away and this one was out. So that was all the outfits, but then at the end, I decided to go through and tally up exactly how many times I wore each piece that I brought. Here is the tally. You can pause to read it in more detail if you want. But now I'm gonna discuss some of the findings because this is scientific now that we have a little chart. Firstly, a lot of the tally to bounce did align with my perceived use of certain items. I knew that my green and gray sweater, my red pattern jacket, and my purple paisley button up were my favorite go-to items and they were some of my most worn. And I knew I wore these tan pants more than anything else. I'm wearing them right now. They're, they're my favorite pants. I wear them like every day. But there were definitely other pieces that I thought I wore more. And I think it's because I got so much more use out of them than I would have at home that I felt like, wow, I really got great use out of these earrings or this tank top. Even if I literally only wore each of them twice, if I had been at home with my full wardrobe, I maybe would have worn them not at all. It definitely would have been nice to get even more use out of them, but I do think my misperception of how much I used them is still kind of a good sign because it still shows that I was clearly getting more use out of them than I normally would. I also found it interesting that even though there were fewer accessories than clothes, the most neglected pieces were the accessories. I wore every clothing piece besides that gold tank top and the dresses at least four times, but literally every hat, hair accessory, and like fun bold pair of earrings I wore three times or less. I think this is mainly because even though I had fewer accessories, you don't need to wear accessories every day, but you do need to wear clothes every day. <laughs> so a lot of days when I wasn't really doing anything, wasn't leaving the house, I didn't bother putting on accessories, but I still had to put on a top and a bottom. The other least worn pieces were of course my dresses, each of which I only wore once. Two of them I did bring with more of the holiday occasions in mind, so I wasn't really thinking I had to wear them in my everyday wardrobe. But I also think the biggest factor in that I didn't get more wear out of all three of these is just the weather. It was very rarely warm enough to even wear a skirt, and if I was going to wear a skirt, it was going to be my thickest longer black one. There was only one item I apparently didn't wear a single time, which kind of shocked me. It was my black beret. I could have sworn I wore each hat at least a couple times, but the berets apparently only got one wear between the two of them. The other thing I noticed when reviewing all the outfits at the end was how much I repeated the same outfits over and over, even though there were so many more combinations I could have made. This was probably my biggest, like, disappointment in myself looking back that I wasn't more creative because I totally could have been. I can picture so many amazing outfit combos with this wardrobe in my head that I never got to wear and I think I'd like to try to do more of that next time. I think this really speaks to how much we can get set in our certain ways of dressing and explains a lot about how we get bored of our wardrobes and feel like we have nothing to wear because certain combinations sort of get stuck in our head and we don't see all the possibilities within our wardrobes. We just see the outfits we've already worn. So I think that serves as a good reminder to us all to try styling what we have in new ways before we go buy new stuff when we want to spice up our outfits or our style. Please tell me in the comments what your thoughts on all this are, your answers to my various questions, any other questions you might have about this whole experience. I just want to discuss with you guys. I feel like I had a lot of thoughts floating around on this topic. So I look forward to hearing from you. Oh, and I heard if you leave a comment, watch another video, and of course, subscribe to the channel, your spring will be full of the perfect weather to wear the exact outfits you're hoping to wear.